How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and I'm here to give you my personal top 10 legends in Brawlhalla. I have almost 2,000 hours in this game. I have over a thousand total legend levels, so I'm pretty well experienced. These top 10 legend picks are my own personal opinion, but they're based on many hours of gameplay as well as current tier charts. Keep in mind that Brawlhalla is constantly being updated, balanced, and any of these legends may be nerfed in the future. Also keep in mind that wearing a pair of Nike Jordans will not make you into an NBA superstar. Similarly, just because you use a top 10 legend, it won't make you a god at the game. You need to practice a lot, watch videos on how to improve, watch your replays and see what you did wrong, and learn from the pros. And then you can be great with absolutely any legend in the game. That being said, Let's jump into my top 10 legends with number 10. At number 10, we have Lucian. Lucian is a world champion 1v1 legend when LDZ won his second championship at BCX 2017 using this legend. Lucian is best played fast and aggressively. His guitars are great at building up damage close range, but they also have a good long range weapon in the down sig. His side and neutral sigs are also useful at getting KOs, but they're a little more punishable if you miss. The blasters are fantastic as well if you need the ranged attacks. Just make an imaginary wall that your opponents can't get past by doing side airs, down lights, gravity cancel down lights, and neutral lights, and then push once they're in red. His greatest strength is his speed and his ability to keep up with any legend in the game and just blitz them with katars to deal massive damage quickly. At number 9, we have Fate. That's right. Although Fate is currently the newest legend in the game, I have been playing her a lot and I've come to the conclusion that she is a top 10 legend in her current form. I'm sure they're going to nerf her at some point, but for now she's a beast. She uses Orb and Scythe, which go together very well. She can easily build damage with either weapon and has few weaknesses other than her somewhat low defense which I usually boost with the defense stance to make her a little more balanced. Her Scythe Sigs are unique and can catch people by surprise due to two of them being able to be held down to give a different effect. Her Scythe Down Sig can also be used to get through opponents edge camping you pretty effectively. Her Orb Sigs are also very strong for both ground, anti-air, and mid-air attacks. She's probably best played by a veteran player who knows how to best use Orb and Scythe may not be the best for beginners until you learn those basic combos. At number 8 I have Mirage. Mirage is just a fantastic legend. She uses Spear and Scythe, which can both be used to easily chase enemies, rack up the damage, and her sigs give her great KO potential. She is best played aggressively with some high risk reward moves such as her Scythe side sig, which can be used to easily chase down evasive opponents and get that KO. Her spear sigs are also great because you have the side sig which is deadly, comes out very fast, it's hard to punish. Her down sig is also great when the enemy thinks that they can just stack on top of you. Her scythe sig down sig is basically the same move as well. And her spear neutral sig is great anti-air move that's hard to punish. At number 7, I have Ada. Ada has two very strong weapons, Spear and Blasters. Both have their strengths and weaknesses, but they combo together very nicely to form a deadly overall package. The Spear is slightly less effective than the Blasters, but still great at racking up the damage. Ada's Blasters are some of the best in the game in my opinion because of her attack speed and their SIGs. Her side sig especially is very good at getting KOs and she's notorious, especially in the lower ranks for people spamming this move to get wins. At number 6 I have Brynn. Brynn happens to be my highest level legend and was my main for a long time, but that is not why she makes it into the top 10. I actually don't play her very much anymore just because I'm playing Fate a lot right now. She uses Spear and Axe 
which go very well together. Her spear sigs are very useful, but they can be punishable if you miss, so just be careful. Her side light into neutral sig can be a great kill option on the spear. Her axe is one of the best kits in the game due to her speed, and especially the axe neutral sig, which has a wide hitbox despite its short range, and it's great at punishing overly aggressive opponents. She excels in 1v1s and is a great all-around legend. She is especially good in lower ranks because of the range of her axe and spear sigs. At number 5 I have Bodvar. Bodvar is the first legend and mascot of Brahalla, but he also happens to be one of the best legends in the game as well. He uses sword and hammer, which go together very well. He, his sigs are also very useful and strong. He really doesn't have anything bad going for him. He's just a great all-around legend and plays very well against most matchups. At number 4, I have Wushong. Wushong is a great legend to pick. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, I think he's pretty easy to pick up. He has gauntlets and spear, which are both very good weapons. His gauntlet sigs are fast and strong, and that makes him great because you can easily build up the damage with the gauntlets or the spear and then finish him off with those gauntlet sigs. But his spear is no different. They, it's also very good at building up the damage. It's useful for more ranged attacks. And it also is useful for weapon throws due to that really wide hitbox. He's best played fast and aggressively, overpowering your opponent with the damage and then finishing them off with one of his awesome sigs. Now we are into the top three legends. At number three, I have Diana. Diana is one of the most versatile legends in the game. She has blasters and bow, which are two fantastic weapons. Her stats and her sig kit make her a well-balanced and very powerful legend. Her bow sigs are especially useful and deadly, and I think her bow side sig is extremely strong due to how it can grab opponents and send them flying. Her blaster sigs are almost equally as good. She has great ability to rack up the damage, also has great kill moves. Her blaster side sig comes out fast and is strong and it's hard to punish. And her blaster neutral sig is equally as deadly when it connects. For these reasons, she is a top three legend in the game. At number two, I have Nyx. Nyx is a legend that I feel is a bit undervalued by the pros. I rarely see her picked in tournaments, but don't let that fool you into thinking she isn't a fantastic legend to use. Her weapons are Blasters and Scythe, two of the best weapons in the game. Her Scythe sigs are useful, especially her Scythe side sig, which can bo hit both air and ground opponents. It comes out fast, and it's pretty hard to punish. Her Blaster sigs are not as good, but still very usable especially the down sig and neutral sig when used properly. Her blasters are to keep your opponent away from you and build the damage. Her scythe combos and control where the enemy can go, which is also very useful for off-edge gimps. And at number one, I have Mordex. He is the legend that was used by Sandstorm when he won the last Brawlhalla World Championship BCX 2018. He has Gauntlets and Scythe, which are both fantastic weapons. His SIGs are very, very good and have given and give him many options in most situations. He is currently the best legend in the game in my opinion. Having both Gauntlets and Scythe make him the deadliest legend off-platform, giving him the ability to easily gimp opponents. He isn't necessarily the best legend to pick if you are a beginner with Scythe or Gauntlets, but once you have mastered those basic combos and those off-edge gimps, he is a force to be reckoned with. Currently, he is the overall strongest legend in the game. Some honorable mentions, Koji, Ember, Scarlet, Hattori, Ragnir, Azuri, Lord Vrax, Ulgrim, and Jala. There's many, many good legends in this game. Like I said, if your favorite legend did not make it into the top 10 or the honorable mentions, that does not mean that they are a trash legend at all. You can be very, very good with even the worst legend on the tier list. 
It all comes down to your playstyle and just doing more damage to the enemy than they do to you. It's a very simple game at the core. And with that guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 10 legends list in Brawlhalla. I know that there's probably going to be various opinions on it. I would love to hear your opinions. Do you agree with my list? What would you change? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Also guys, if you want to continue the conversation a little more, go ahead and join my Discord server, The Sword Cord. Link is in the description of the video. It's a great place for gamers to meet and find people to play with and just hang out and chat. Also, when I do viewer lobbies, that's usually where I post the room number ahead of time. So if you want to play with me in a viewer lobby, joining my Discord is the best place to do it. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.